Aiden. From Goliaze Merkez. What she said. <laughs> May have practiced that a couple of times. Just been having a look at how to pronounce it. Um, yeah, it's on a lake. Yeah. A town on a lake. Parked here for the night. It's um, very nice. Yeah. We're, uh, so as we make our way over to Istanbul, it's going to be lots of driving with a couple of park-ups on the way because yep. it's a hefty old chunk and we just want to take our time. So this is today's stop. It's around 500, well from where we started it's about 500 odd kilometres so we're doing about 120 to 140 a day and then stopping. Mm -hmm. So we've got another two more stops before we cross. We're going to get the ferry across rather than taking the bridge because yep. it's a bit shorter and yep. it gets us into Istanbul where we need to be as well. Yeah. and try and drive through traffic so yeah so we're just going to enjoy this little place and have a coffee coffee definitely Obviously the men weren't enough, the women got involved. And tonight's park up. It is maybe a seven minute walk out of town, not very far, opposite of school. In the car park. And obviously Craig's made lots of friends. Well-fed dogs, which they are, they look like they're well-fed. They don't like my biscuits. <laughs> Good evening. So last night, relatively peaceful night's sleep after about midnight when everything quieted down. Woke up this morning to cones everywhere. We were taped in. Uh, nothing sinister. I think there's just an event on or a market or something in the village today. So we made a quick shift because we don't want to be in anyone's way. We don't want to be a bother to anyone, and we're hitting the road. Another day, another car park. The lake over there. We're gonna go and have a brew, and then we'll take a proper look around. So it just started to rain. Um, what poo some? No forecast. No forecast. It's not forecast. It's <laughs> rain. Um, I mean, apparently it's snowing in the UK right now, in parts of the UK. So I mean grateful for none of that stuff here so um it actually looks like it might be a bit of a marketplace what we're parked on mm. we found some electric points i'm going to try them today to see if they're active it'd be interesting if they are i'm hooking up and it looks like a beach by the way but it's not actually on the shore of a lake <laughs> Okay, so that was not a peaceful night's sleep. We tried to stay up late because the park for night reviews says it's full of kids driving in their cars. There's also factories. Uh, it smells a bit... Um, it smells a bit off. Not like gross. Like There's definitely been worse places to sleep smell-wise. But, um, yeah, a bit of a rough night's sleep. Anyway, today we are going to go and visit Ufuk. Um, we were supposed to be going. We were supposed to be going tomorrow, but we um, changed our plans. Up to today, so now we are driving off to go and get the ferry over. And he's not far from there. Oh, 
from Uthuk Caravan. So jobs for today are, need to sort out the soda gland on top. Uh, I made a start on that last night. I'll show you what I got up to. Um, need to do that and then jack the cab up and sort out the pulley on the alternator. So last night I took the cables out of the isolator, uh, cleaned all this area up. Uh, I did all that last night so I was bored. Um, so we'll get a new solar gland, get that on, get those cables back in, and that's that done. Okay, one cable gland installed. So new batteries, um, 230 amps, uh, two of them. I wanted 260, but couldn't get them, they were really, really expensive. So um, 230, two of them. Uh, they're going in tomorrow. I've already ripped out the um, the cupboard. I had to make it bigger to fit them. So I shall uh, so we'll pick up on that tomorrow. Right, there, folks. I apologise. I've been very, very bad at recording this. Um, naughty me. I've just been cracking on. Um, so batteries are out, as you can see, and we've knocked through the cupboard that was here. Uh, we've taken that out because these batteries are quite a bit bigger and they won't fit. So we got a nice big space in there for those new batteries. Um, and I've, as you've seen, I've uh, secured down the solar gland, uh, put that in. I just need to wire that back in there and then that's done. And then yeah, new batteries in, um, fix them down and uh, get them charged up. And that's uh, another job ticked. You don't want to see inside this truck, it is a bomb site at the moment. Isn't it, Kerry? It is. Nice. everywhere. Oh, I can tell you, they are heavy. Uh, as you can see, uh, the four originally were just in here where that bit of tape is. Uh, one of those is about the size of four. Um, so they're in. I right, just to uh, figure out how I'm going to secure them down, and then we're good to go. Okay, batteries are all plumbed in, all working okay, electrics all back on, and they're charging, and all the settings are right on those two. Now it's just to plumb this back in, and uh, good to go. Good morning, another day, another job. So today, put the cab up, and this pulley on the alternator is, um, the bearings have gone in it, so we're going to whip it off and get some new bearings put in it. Um, and then it's a general service. Uh, checking everything, topping up, changing stuff. A full shabam. Okay, folks, so we've got the belt off and we have taken off the tensioner. Now, I thought it was the pulley, uh, but it's not. Uh, the pulley on the alternator, um, the water pump's moving freely, the alternator um, pulley is moving freely. Um, now, but when I took the belt off, the tensioner, the pulley on the tensioner, um, was click, 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 and it was very stiff to turn. So I assume it's that. However, now I've taken it off, just look at that. it's actually moving quite freely. Um, it's got about the same amount of tension as the new one. So I'm going to change it anyway and um, give that a try and then go from there. Uh, you can see there's some slight variation differences between the new one and the old one. Um, the pulley on the front, the old one's got a lip to stop the belt coming off uh, and the new one has not. So we're going to get that on, give that a try and go from there. If, um, oh, if you can see like there's a bit of oil, I've been putting a bit of WD-40 on some of the bits. but. Um, 
we're going to give that a try and if it still continues uh, i've got a new alternator and i've got a new I've got a new alternator and a new water pump that i can put on so just eliminate one by one and go from there Okay, it's a new tensioner, uh, belt tensioner in, uh, all running, let it run in. It's all sweet as a nut. Hopefully that solves the problem. If not, then uh, it'll be the alternator pulley next and then the water pump if that fails. I've got all the spare parts, so it's not an issue. I've even got a brand new alternator as well. Uh, thanks to Sam Pulteney uh, for the tips on getting that uh, pulley tensioner out because uh, I didn't have a bloody clue. So thanks Sam. Right I'm done in. Chicky Doritos. So oh, I've checked every fluid level like every fluid level I'm not gonna name them all. Those have got the truck you know how many that is. Every fluid level of the truck everything's tickety blue. Um, I had to top up the front tractor joints again I need to figure out what's going on with them, especially on the uh, passenger side. The driver's side's okay, actually. It's a passenger side. Um, I'm having to constantly top up, but there's no leak anywhere. So I think there might be an internal seal gone. Um, so I'm gonna tap up some DAF owners and uh, just see what the possible problems may be. But I think an internal seal's gone. Um, so I've done that and checked all the brake pads. They're all bang on about 90% on all of them which is really good um, change the pulley tensioner put all that back together it's all good and greased all the props in fact I've greased everything it's grease everywhere uh, I've had to re-grease the cab release lock because uh, I couldn't get it off this morning it was a bit stiff um, and then once I had it up I noticed that the grease on there is pretty much it's gone anyway so I've re-greased all that as well yeah so she is ready to go and do another two or three thousand miles. Um, I will maybe um, in March change the oils. Um, so the engine oil, we'll give that a change. And um, yeah, hard work. I've grafted today. Good morning. Just having a conversation about what we're going to do today. And it seems Craig is overdue a Let's get everything out of the truck, have a reorganise and put it back in again. So, that's what we're going to be doing. First things first though, uh, Ufuk has a washing machine here and a dryer, so we're going to strip the bed. And we're, we're, we're abusing it, we're abusing his washing machine, thanks Ufuk. Backup sheets on. Backup sheets. So, we've been here for four nights already and we're going to be here for a few more yet. Craig's dancing over there to try and distract me. Um, we'll be here for a while because the process, <laughs> the process for the visa takes so long. Um, <laughs> and then we've got a couple of days booked in Istanbul, which you've probably already seen by now. Hello! Lost my train of thought of what I was saying because Craig's bored and wanted to do stuff, so I'll pick this up later. Istanbul. Right, everything out was coming out. We're going to redistribute for example that needs to, that's our breakdown stuff that's the jack so that needs to go under there really yeah we kind of had the jacks which is like probably the heaviest thing is two um 10 ton jacks there um and they were in the middle of the storage area but up at height so to get them out we'd have had to strip everything out to get to it it's not really what you want to be doing on the side of the road so they're going in there uh maybe so it's just because it's heavy but um, yeah, and uh, we move some stuff around, to make some more room. Flags. As if by magic, all rearranged. Are you happy? I am happy because moving one box. In fact, 
taking that cupboard out, removing the batteries, and then just moving some stuff around, it's just made so much space. It's crazy, one box has made a lot of space. Lessons in uh, understanding weight and quantity when you're ordering online. Yeah. In a foreign language. Okay, so, toilet compost. So these are the box that we buy back in the UK. Um, and one of these is enough to uh, fill the toilet and it lasts two to three weeks, depending on how much we poop. Now, so we struggled to find these. However, top tip, garden centers. They sell these, um, same, same stuff, it's coconut core. Um, and they sell it for um, bedding plants and potting plants. Only issue is, we miscalculated uh, when we purchased them. As you can see, this is that. Uh, if I put that on there, you can see we will get three of these out of one of those. And we have got one, two, you can see in there, three, four. And there's another six in that pack there, 10. So, 30, <laughs> so technically we've got 30 of these. Uh, which is enough to last us a year and a half. Um, so our plan is we're going to cut up four of these blocks and leave the other six here. And then when we leave Turkey on the way back through, we'll pick them back up because um, we'll have space from them. So that's the plan. So now I need to mark these up and cut them up somehow. Now we're cutting them up. One slight disadvantage to this is we are a bit dubious about crossing a border with these because they look like um, blocks of coke or hashish or some sort of narcotic. What do you think, Harry? Yes, they do look like that. Especially if you with those um, flying squirrel trousers on. <laughs> We're going to get picked up by the old Bill. Righty then. For those of you who have been very, very annoyed with the overspray on the windows, which have probably been on there for about 20 years, uh, you'd be glad to know that I finally got it off. It is gone. Yay! Good night, Dan. Good night, Dan. <laughs> um, so we've got another workshop today. We've got some much needed fresh air, sunshine. The weather's changed. It the was changed. miserable yesterday. It yeah. was bitterly cold and windy and wet yes but that said we're not complaining today no we're not no we're not so but we're going to leave you there we'll go on but the winds are going to pick up this afternoon so it might get a bit cold but anyway as Kerry said we're going to leave you there um, I'm fed up of interrupting you you do do that a lot sorry uh, we'll leave you there and once again thanks to our patrons top people and don't forget, comment, like, subscribe and share. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps our algorithms and pushes us up the rankings there somewhere. Arr. <laughs> Till the next one. See you soon. See you soon.